Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the complete overlay collection from SleekLens. Now the overlay collection is used for Photoshop and you have tons of overlays that you can apply to your photos. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add sun flares, I'm going to show you how to add rain, and I'm going to show you how to add snow to your photos. So in this first photo here, we have this surfer, and I want to add a sun flare over in this area right here just to kind of add a little bit more interest to the photo. So in the overlay collections, we have tons of starburst effects right here. You can see we have a bunch right here. These are black and whites. Uh, but we also have colors as well and with the black and whites you can also add color uh, uh, to your own but I'm gonna go in the color section here and I'm gonna choose the sunburst 3 and all I'm gonna do is just click on this one and drag it onto my document and here is the sunburst that I'm going to apply you can see that it's a pretty large one and you can actually resize these as much as you want you can make them as large as you want or as small as you want I'm gonna make mine roughly right about here and I'm going to place it in this top area right here, right where I want it to, the sun flare to be. So I'm going to click enter. And how we blend this into our photo is really simple and it just requires a blending mode. So I'm going to go over here in Photoshop to the blending mode section and I'm going to choose screen. And what screen will do is it'll take away all of the black in the photo and just leave the color light ray. So now I can feel free to move this around. I can put it anywhere I want to, uh, but mostly I'm going to keep it in this area because that's kind of where the sun was in this particular photo. So I can angle it right here uh, and I can actually want it just a tad bit larger so I can increase the size just to make it feather out a little bit more. And there we go. Uh, one thing I could do because the, the uh, flare is a little bit sharp, I can actually add a, a Gaussian blur to it to kind of lessen the uh, lessen the sharp effect to it. So I can go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and then I can just blur it just a little bit, not a whole lot, because I still want to keep all of that detail uh, in the in the light rays there. But I just want to blur it out just a little bit. So I'm gonna go blur it around to uh, 1.5 there, and there we go. There is our sunburst adding right to the. Uh, and there we go, there's our sunburst added to the photo. It makes our photo really stand out. So if we toggle this off, this is what our photo looked like before. And here's our sunburst to our surfer photo. Now we're gonna go to a beach photo. This is a cloudy beach scene. This is an already processed image, but I want to add rain to the photo. So I wanna add a little bit more rain, a little bit more interest to the photo. So uh, I'm gonna go back into my overlay collections and I'm gonna go to the uh, rain folder here. I'm gonna go to overlays and now have all of these rain overlays to choose from. You can see we have like light rain, some really heavy rain, uh, all this stuff to choose from. It's, it's a really great, really great collection to add to your photos. So the first one I'm gonna add is actually Actually one called rain one and I'm just going to do the same thing drag that to my document you can see it's a little bit small so I can scale it up and I don't have to worry about this being pixelated uh, because it's going to blend in pretty well and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to choose a screen for the blending mode and we have a little bit harder rain and what I'm going to do is layer the rain so this is not our final image I'm actually going to add rain on top of this one this is kind of going to act like the background of the rain this is going to act like the uh, the the rain that's farther away from the camera so now I'm going to get another one and I'm going to choose rain 9 here because this is kind of a, a closer up rain really small sharp rain there and I'm going to drag this onto my document again do basically the same thing I did as the uh, layer before that I'm just going to click over here, apply that, uh, and then choose the screen in my overlay. And there we go. We have a harder rain in the foreground, but then a darker rain, a little heavier rain in the background. And if I don't like how heavy this is, I can actually just lower the opacity. And that'll take away a little bit of the effect and allow me to keep some of that, uh, some of that rain there. So there we go. So this is our before. And this is our after. So you can see it adds really nice effect to the photos, adds to the mood of the photo. Now let's go to the last one, and this is the snow. So this one's going to be kind of fun because we're actually going to use three different snow overlays to build on the effect. So we have this girl sitting out on top of a bridge. You can tell that it's been snowing, but I actually want to make it look like she's standing out in the snow. So I'm going to go back to my overlays, and I'm going to choose the snow folder overlays and now I can choose I'm actually gonna choose three different kinds of snow so the first one I'm gonna choose is snow 19 because it's kind of a uh, it's kind of a you know it's a it's a little bit of a heavier snow so I'm gonna choose this one and I'm gonna place this one right here right over my document right there do the same exact thing all of these use a blending mode of screen to blend in with the photo so you can see that's kind of a, it's already making it a great looking photo we already have little problem spots you can see over the eye we have a little drop on the eye we're gonna take care of that in just a second but now we're gonna build on it to a little bit more make it look like it's a little bit heavier 
So I'm going to go to Snow 4-3, use that one as well. This is going to act like a little bit of the background, just like we did with the rain. And I'm going to do the same thing, screen. There we go. And I'm going to do one more, and I'm going to do Snow 7-2. And you can see this one's kind of like the snow that's in the foreground right next to the camera because it's really big, really big spots there. So I'm going to go to screen as well. So there we go. We have all of the snow applied. It looks really great. And now what I want to do is take care of these problem areas. And this is one great thing about these overlays is e you can easily just deactivate these and you can take care of these little problem areas. So on this one layer, I have that snow that's right above the eye. I'm going to apply a layer mask. I'm going to get a soft brush. I'm going to make sure my brush is a soft black brush. And all I'm going to do is just paint away that area so it doesn't cover any of the face. I'm going to do the same thing with the other ones. If I see any problem areas, if I want to lessen the amount of snow that's in the face, do the same thing, apply a layer mask, get my black brush, and just kind of softly paint those away just so it's not right in the person's face. And do the same thing with the other one. This one we have a little bit more problem area, so I'm just going to click away there and you can see it all kind of blends in together I don't have to worry about it just looking unrealistic it all blends in together so there we go if I don't want it to be over the hand I can do the same thing I can find what layer this little guy is on it's gonna be on this one right here and just click that away so there we go in just a matter of minutes we applied a really great sun flare to the surfer photo we applied rain to this really moody cloudy storm photo and we applied snow to this beautiful girl standing on a bridge and just made it look like a really great great photo so if you want to learn more about the overlay collections head on over to sleeklens.com or click the link in the description down below and you can see all of the great overlays that are offered there so thank you for joining me in this video this has been jordan from sleek lens and i'll see you in the next one